I'm here on a road trip to check a property that's almost closed. They're 99.2% sold out. It's, I think, Idea 1 or Idea 2. And they have a future development that has no license to sell. So we can't feature that. But, like I said, I'm not selling this property. Uh, my client is a broker and I'll leave her contact information down below. So if you're interested, we're going to Vermosa. is the estate. It's their fourth largest development in Ayala. It's highly accessible. Siya. It's southward. To get here, it's Lex or Alabang or MCX, Dang Hari Road. And if you're from Cavite, you're going to enter the Calax, which is Cavite Laguna Exchange. <laughs> at Aguinaldo Highway. For most areas, the uh, area has a residential, has a commercial, has a mall I think they're going to do. And then, what's nice here is that they're Bonifacio High Street na gagawin in the area. That's why the idea of Phase 1 and Phase 2 almost filled out and I think it's going to turn this this year. The selling points nila are accessibility in Vermosa, malapit sa SLEX, ganyan, tapos parang hindi ka napapunta ng traffic na papunta ng Laguna. So kapag ka nag-materialize yung Calax, mag appreciate din yung value ng location dito. Dahil konti-konti glass na lang available dito. People are looking forward dun sa may future developments in the area. They're calling something a uh, license to sell is not yet done, something like that. So you shouldn't be you're not allowed to sell or something like that. Might be discredited as a broker or something like that. But you know, don't do that. That's illegal, kids. Pwede ka maano, ma life imprisonment <laughs> or reclusion perpetua. <laughs> Yan, 30 or 40 years. So, mamaya dadaan na natin yung clubhouse nila. Dadaan natin yung established na properties. One of the things that makes Vermosa special is magkakaroon sila ng sarili nilang terminal at meron silang parang midtown. So, so the midtown dun mag host yung Ayala Mall. So, very, very good. Kasi, of course, it's an Ayala Mall. You'll get the feel of New Novali. So, kung nakita yung experience sa Novali, pag nag-grow na din yan, ayun, patay. Mag-appreciate din yung value around this area sometime. Magkakaroon sila ng bike lanes and pedestrian lanes separate. So, naalala ko when I went to Australia, may lane ng trains, may lane ng cars, ang bikes and pedestrian, they're all separate. Just comparing that locally, di ba? Hindi tayo, hindi matay masado. Just we have one or two lanes. Just yung mga pedestrian natin, mga vendors. Except Marikina, like, I was surprised when I visit visit Marikina. I think ganon na palasya ka different. Ko compare mo sa la, somewhere like Cubao or ano no or somewhere along Edsa na vendors are along the road and really blocking and not nice. So that's good for Vermosa. Kasi still have that separate feature yung pedestrians and yung bikes. Kula na lang dog lane. Na. Also for part of Midtown, meron silang sports center. So sa sports center, mabilis yung construction. So for now, meron silang, magkakaroon silang full-size swimming pool and 400 meter track. So parang Marikina Sports Complex, complex na kum kumpleto siyang track, right? Meron ding archery ranges and meron ding, ano, ano pa itong mga ginagawa nila? Archery rangers, aquatic center, athlete station, football, athlete's lounge, archery range, Beach volleyball, so yun yung mga future na plans. Beach volleyball, saka multipurpose indoor, so siguro mag MMA ka dyan yan. Dyan yung papasok, no? Yung, yung sports hub, um, yung mga parts na tapos na, we'll visit that today. So we're at Vista Mall. So malapit na tayo, mga 500 meters na lang daw. Tapos malapit dito yung SM Molina. Tapos Molina na Road. Ah, ito yung Molina Road. Yeah. Ayan. Yeah, dahil Paliparan uh, Airport Airport Paliparan lang talaga tawag Paliparan ang ano So this road is the Ari Extension Aguinaldo Highway na sa dulo Ayan, so along this road Tapos City Mall, no? may Double Dragon property Part of Vermosa, pero the developments for the first five years will be on your left side, which is your phase one. First five Vermosa. years, phase one. On your uh, right side is the Vermosa North CBD that were uh, central business. Just po yung mga mid and high rise developments natin in the future. Okay, so, so mid right and high now, rise. So right now, future development pa po to. Okay. So, so I miss Starbucks. Yeah. 
Mm. So yung Vermosa 1 and 2 yung nandoon, no? Tapos dito CBD, tapos dito yung um, uh, this is what we call Vermosa Transient. Midtown. Midtown. And then yung residential district. Residential district. Okay. Pero si McDonald's yan na talaga siya. So we may pick up kaming dalawang chicks. <laughs> so ito si Karen. Karen. Hi Karen. Hi. She's a sales agent. Pati si Cyril. Zoom natin kay Cyril. Okay. Tan tan tan. Let's start na yung ano. Sige. Ito yung parang sports hub. Dadaan niyo yung sports hub. Ooh. Kita mo pa. Yeah. So nasa sports hub tayo. Ito tayo sa ano. Full sized swimming pool. Nako maglalaps ako dito. Olympic sized pool. One unique feature ng Vermosa compared to other Ayala developments is meron siyang track and field, meron siyang sports complex. Ang pinapromote nila dito is yung active lifestyle. So meron silang mga laid back lifestyle. I forgot the name of that one. But I think they're also promoting a laid back lifestyle na estate. But this estate in particular within the Midtown is more of active yung mga very active people. So ito yung gym. Gusto mo kita yung track and field kasi as you know, runner ako. It's a full-sized track and field, oh. Ayan. Mag-relay. 400 meter. Relay. O mag, ano ka, sprints ka dito. Mag-conditioning ka. Pwede. Rubberized ba? Yeah, it looks like rubberized naman. That's good. Yun yung Ayala Mall. Actually, ginagawa na daw yung mall yun doon. Kung nakikita nyo yung construction doon. Tapos, behind that, Behind that will be behind that will be the church. This one for. Tapos around. Ano natin? Beto six. Um, here is the De La Salle. Dito po kasi is commercial din. Yung ba yung De La Salle yon? That one is De La Salle Zubel. Ayon don magakalasal da over there. Tapos to the to the west of me. Where is that? To that area. Doon daw lahat ng commercial properties are already sold. Lahat ng Ayala Premier Commercial Spaces there are already sold. Tama ba? <laughs> Doon pala. Doon pala yung commercial. Doon pala yung mga sold out na na commercial. Ayala Premier Slots. Sold out na lahat. Silipin natin yung gym. Mabilis lang ha. Welcome to the gym. Sante Fitness Lab. Ayan. Ito. So they also sell membership for ano, their fitness hub. Mm. Crossfit. Crossfit. What's this? Only operational ng iba. Actually, malapit na talaga. Kasi look at this. Almost sold out na halos lahat. Malapit na tumbo mo to. Pag dumami nang tao dito. Go. I'm here with Ate. Ate, what's your name? I am Bea. So tell us about your membership for the gym. For the gym, we have we have OC, uh, obstacle course race, na rig, and we have athletic training. If your goal is to become fit, to become an athletic person, to lose weight, we can address your concerns. There are trainers specific for your goal. Is the gym open for everybody or is it for residents only? It's open for everybody. So we have uh, membership for a year and six months membership. Then. How much is that for and what does that include? For one year membership, your original price is 36000 Ngayon po, naka 50 off siya, 18. And for one year, you have 12 passes to the pool, you have 12 passes to the oval, you have Recovery Express, service for rehab so you have for recovery express so yun yung service namin sa sports rehab po namin you can get a personal trainer if you don't want to get a personal trainer for your specific goal and your goal is to lose fat or uh, general conditioning you can attend our classes we have classes at 7 a.m and 7 p.m so that's sante fit camp so the goal is to perform safe lifting exercises 
body weight training. When is the gym open? The gym is open Mondays to Fridays, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Then Saturdays and holidays, 7 to 7. We're oh. closed during Sundays. Uh, welcome to Santi Fitness Lab. If you're willing to drop by, you can have a free trial for our classes, for our foundations classes. And we also have our sports rehab. We also have our performance testing if you're familiar with it. Okay, so it's a more scientific way of doing okay, things, yes. yes. How you run, are you slanting the right way? Side note, that will be where the church is. Okay, this so is where the church is. So, yung over noon is by 2021. 2021, church And then right uh -huh. after the church, kung saan po located si church, dito po nag-start yung commercial block natin. This is the commercial lot that's so, all sold out. Yung first place, like the first Aside from the Ayala Malls, magkakaroon tayo ng mga retail um, developments in this area. And what's nice about the location of Ardea is we're adjacent to it. So everything po is walkable if nakatira kayo sa Ardea. Ayun, so meron tayong commercial areas there. And then magkakaroon ng retail hub here. So around this area, magkakaroon ng retail hub and walking distance ka if you are going to buy from Ardea. Amazing. Ganda ng pag plan nila. It's like really integrated na. You know, I was personally interested about yung mga... They were trying to build communities na within a sphere uh, para environmentally protected. So sustainable daw siya as a sphere. I think this is like a introductory of something like that. Ayan. So we're still along Hermosa So, ito yung Ardea na Phase 1. Ito yung commercial. And ito yung Ver Vermosa Boulevard. Yung commercial. So, itong white, naka-white dito. <coughs> Grabe, no? Yan, yung mga naka-white fences. So, compared to other Ayala brands within this estate, ito po talaga yung highlight ni Ardea. Kasi we're the closest from the Vermosa Midtown. Okay. Ardea 1 is the closest to Ardea. So, this is the main entrance. So, dito po magkakaroon yung uh, signage ni Ardea tapos yung buong area po na to ilalandscape siya hindi wow, um, pa lang nagstart oh, yeah, kasi yeah. Lang, yeah. Lang, yeah. yan so papasok tayo ng Ardea 1 kaya natin kung may mga bahay na. hindi wala pa mag handover pa lang sa this here very strict security for now ha huh? <coughs> So all of these 365 lots for phase one have sold. been sold. And then on your left side is the main clubhouse where the three pools po is located. So meron tayong lap pool, kiddie pool, and uh, lounge pool po. So ang maganda dito is um, aside from the sports hub of the entire estate, meron po tayong separate clubhouse inside the village. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Clubhouse. So may clubhouse so now for RDA only. Function room, three pools. So, kitty, lap, and then a lounge pool. So, ayan. Oh my god. I really like na varang low rise lang yung mga ano nila, no? Hmm, interesting. The 365 Imagine, lots is already sold out, Marino. How much per square before? Uh, we started selling it at 2017 po, at 27 to 30,000 per square. 27 to 30 per square, all of them sold out. They're expected to. I think this is going to double. Dahil ang lapit niya, ang lapit niya talaga sa. Uh, yeah, this place is gonna boom. You can, you can just feel it from. Uh, you have to abide with the theme po ng buong Ardea. Uh, Asian Contemporary po for Ardea Vermosa. Kailang do Asian Contemporary ng kagun ko Ardea. Tapos you have, you have to have po yung 3 meters na setback. If you're uh, along your frontage, tapos 2 meters at your sides. Yung mga ganun pong guidelines. Sa, sa back and sides, ganun, ganun din? Back and sides, 2 meters, and then 3 meters sa, back. sa front. Okay. So meron silang, um, parang you have to have a, an area on the side when you're building. 3 meters up front, 2 meters at the sides and at the back. And then yun, Asian contemporary yung theme nung gagawin mo. And then may height requirement, so it's not, which is not new. I've seen some that that word. Um, mira, what this is in the name? You. 
So, phase 2 ni R.D. Avermosa. Yung pinaka konting, 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 konting ano na lang uh, yun. Yung nakabord na green around that area. So, that is... That is that area. Yung naka-green doon. Ayan. I hope mag yung yung I think they're waiting for the license for the third one. Miss Marie, how many Kung lots do we have in So phase two, that phase the two area is there out. is 100 plus phase units, three. and there's also sold out. Okay, so everybody's waiting <laughs> for the future developments. I think they need to secure some licenses. Now. So I don't know what that means. One thing I noticed, I don't know if it's normal kayala, pero the sidewalks have PWD ramps. So, of course, meron tayo sometimes na loved ones na need to walk up these ramps. So, that's good. At friendly sa sila sa ganun. From what I know, Ayala does is, ayun, nagpakita yung isa. Okay, pero, I've seen several din kanina when we were going. Yan, ito, dalawa. The left. Hirap, no? Sorry. <laughs> So that's weird. Phase 1 and Phase 2 are all sold out. I don't know why the broker wants me to go here, but I think it's for the future developments. Why? It's close, it's accessible to Ayala Premier Lands, retail, commercial area, and it has the um, Vermosa Boulevard, which is like the New Valley Boulevard of Vermosa development area. I think uh, that's good. There's a height requirement of 10, 10, 10 meters? 10 meters? 10 meters height. Yeah. How long is that? It's like good for two two floors, no? Good for two floors. I think good for two floors. So, Asian contemporary. Kapalik na tayo. Ikot lang po tayo sa dalas. Ah. Tulad po ito ng Solenad. Ganun po siya kalaki. Solenad. Yes. Ah. Yalamos. The design is going to be like Solenad. But they have a higher area. Oh. Ay, Yalamos. Wow. Games at the same time, just feel ko low rise din yung gagawin nilang type. Oh, doon yung inagayin. Ay, ano lang. Este. Iyo, Vermosa. There you go. Vermosa. So, this is De La Salle Zodem. So, high school. Senior high. Senior high school. Senior high, we call it. Tama ba? 10, 11, 12, something like that. And I think that they're expanding it to move more students here soon. There you are! <laughs> so if you're living nearby, you can see the same menu in front. Open house schedules. Alabang Campus, Hermosa Campus. Ay, talaga ba? Yeah, they're moving people here because it's not traffic. Hi guys! So, pabalik na kami. Um, looking at the property, I think it's gonna be very, very big. <laughs> the way I see it's Novali too. I don't really frequent Novali, but I did visit it a couple of times. It is going to be big. The way it's designed, I like that it has green grassy areas and malalaking lots. And it's a small community that's really right beside retail and commercial hubs. You have the sports center, you have the pool. It's there, it's complete, it's gonna happen. And Maga hand out na and complete ni phase one and phase two. If there are future developments, I mean, you should get in touch with the broker if there. If you have any intent in buying any property, look at this. The phase one and, and phase two were like twenty-seven thousand to thirty thousand, and they're they're double their amount, like within the year. Come on, that's not enough good reason for you to get that. I don't sell this. Remember, guys, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> so. Reach out to your broker or my broker here. I'll put her contact details there. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you.